Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a really cool card trick that this is really fun to play on your friends and it's not hard to do. So let's get right into the performance. So hey guys, this is the performance. So first of all, I'm gonna hand the deck to the spectator and he can like shuffle the cards as much as he wants to. He can cut the cards to make this deck completely random. So I'm gonna ask the audience to choose one card from this deck, like any card they want. So let's say they get this card. So I'm gonna turn around and you guys need to memorize this card. Now I'm gonna put it back like in the middle of somewhere. Alright, there you go. Alright. So I'm to make the deck like more shuffled. I'm gonna shuffle these cards again. And do a bit of cuts. So I'm gonna play a game with you. The game is called The Liar. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna sh show you three separated cards. Then you're gonna say that's the card to me whenever you see a card. All right? So, um, let's start. So the first one is this one. This will be a card. Is this your card? That's the card. Um, all right. Um, but I don't think this is your card. All right, let's go ahead and put it here. How about this one? And you can say, that's the card. Um, Alright. If you th said it. Alright. Then the next card. That's the card. Alright. So. Between these three cards, um. Let me think. Which one would be a card? Um. Let's see. I don't know actually. Nah, I don't think one of these would be a card. Let's see. Oh, yeah. None of these are cards. I know. This one, the four of clubs. This one. Must be a card, right? Wait, no. This is not a card. Wait, what? Alright. Um, it's your card here. Like in these three cards. Right, yeah? Alright. All right. This one. Is, is it the eight of clubs? No. How about the King of Hearts? No. How about is this um five, five spades? No. All right. Now you're a you're really a liar because you said the card is here. You said that's the card in all three of these, but none of these are right. So, so um I think the card that. You have chose is this one the ten of clubs i bet it's correct right yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this card trick and if you find it cool please stick around for the tutorial all right guys so this will be the tutorial for the trick that you just saw so first of all you can have a random deck um it can be borrowed from your friends, you can shovel it as much as you want to by the spectator or you can shovel it yourself but I prefer giving it to the spectator because they can take control of the cards then you're gonna ask them to choose any card from your deck so let's say they pick this one here and this is the nine of hearts right after they pick the card you can have them look at it for a few seconds. While they're doing that, you can make a pinky break between the first card and the rest of the deck. Like this, over here, easy. Then, when they give back your card, you are gonna pretend you're putting the card in the middle of the deck. However, you're putting it like at the second card, like below the first one, right here. Then, um, you can do some shuffles or false cards to make it seem like it's disappeared. 
and it's mixed up with the other cards in the middle. But actually, the second card is their card, Nine of Hearts, right? Then, you're gonna cut the card in half. And now, you're gonna tell them the game that you're gonna play with them now. So, how does this game work is you're gonna show them three cards, and they're gonna say, that's the card, every time they see a card. And you're trying to figure it out, which is their card. So, now you, you know the second card is their card, right? The Nine of Hearts. Then, when you're explaining the game, you're gonna hold a thumb break over here, the right pack of cards, from up two cards. Separate them with the pack. Then, you're gonna hold a pack of cards with your left hand and your right hand. Remember to do the thumb break, that will make the trick much more easier. Then, you're gonna show three cards to them. The first one, when you're showing them, um, they're gonna say, that's the card. Then you're like pretending, um, I don't trust you, this might be a card, but it might not be. You can say something like that. Then flip over the card again with your right packet of cards. Then cover it, just cover it, and place their card on the table. Then you're gonna do a second card, like this. And you know this is their card, right? And they'll say, that's the card. Then you have to pretend you don't know this is their card. And you're gonna go ahead and flip over the cards. Then what I'm gonna do is, you're going to cover it again, but this time, not just cover it, but dropping the two cards from your thumbs. Let go of your break and drop two cards on it. Then you'll find that the third card will be their card, right? And you can just swipe the card on the table with your thumb, like that. Then with the third one, you're gonna do the same thing. Flip over the card and show them, and they're gonna say, that's the card, right? And you're gonna flip the card over again, then you're gonna cover it, because don't make it seem so unusual. So you're gonna do that and place the third card on the table. Then you're gonna put your left-handed packet of cards on top of the right pack. Then you realize that card is the first one, right? That's um, kind of the end of the trick. What I did in the performance is I lift up two cards, I do a double lift, and ensuring that the first card, like the top card, is not the card, right? Then I'll say, oh, this is their card. This will be your card, the five of spades, right? And they'll say, no. And I'll ask, where's your card then? Then they'll try and flip up the middle card, because this one would used to be their card, but it's not. When they figure out this is not their card, they're gonna turn over the other cards, but then they realize none of these are their cards. And then you can go ahead and snap your thing fingers, and that card goes on top of your deck. That's the trick, guys. I hope you enjoy this performance and the tutorial, and just practice this like a few more times, and it'll be okay for you. So hope you guys like this video, and if you like this, be sure to stick around to my channel to find out more cool card tricks. Peace.